New this morning, the science is clear. A chemical from tire dust is killing mass amounts of coho salmon in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, Abby Oconee is sharing how activists are testing a natural solution that could help protect this vulnerable population. Ohop Creek in Pierce County may be beautiful, but in waters like these is a contaminant that can kill adult and juvenile coho salmon just hours after exposure. It's devastating across the region for coho uh, salmon. Back in 2020, scientists from WSU and UW found that when the rubber meets the road, the cars we drive are responsible for coho salmon dying. And here's why. Tires are made with a particular chemical called 6-PPD, which the tire industry says prevents tires from wearing down. But when tires are exposed to ozone, 6-PPD creates a toxic pollutant called 6-PPD quinone. As tiny bits and pieces of car tires get left on the roads, rain will wash this contaminant into local rivers and streams across the region. We know this is killing fish. We know exactly what it is. David Trout works with the Nisqually Indian Tribe, one of the partners collaborating on a pilot program in Pierce County to clean stormwater. This is a, a, a natural system that allows us to treat not only for the 6-PPD, but other toxics coming off of the roads as well. This biofiltration system along Ohop Creek is about two years in the making. If you include the permitting process, here's how all of this works. Stormwater rushes through these pipes and into a big bin of compost. That mixture of sand, food, and yard waste scours out pollutants before the water drains out these pipes and into the creek. This is a pretty simple system, right? But it's very effective. It is. So compost is your, your typical yard waste and food waste that you put in your yard waste bin. Chris Cunningham works for Cedar Grove, a company that processes compost from homes and businesses in King, Snohomish, and Pierce counties. You can put things in your yard waste and turn it into something that can impact the environment on such a positive level. Activists with the local nonprofit Long Live the Kings also contributed to this project. Why is there so much urgency in this issue? Over the past couple of decades, we've seen significant declines in salmon, and they're reaching the point where we may lose them. And so Acting now is really important. The hope is that this natural solution can be installed wherever it's needed across the state. Environmentalists are also putting pressure on the tire industry to find an alternative to the parent chemical responsible for coho deaths. The U.S. Tire Manufacturers Association told me it can't provide a specific timeline on that, but stresses it's working on it. Back to you.